welcome to my channel. My name is Nini and today is extra special because I am participating in the Philly Sentimental Tag. Now, fragrances and their scents have a really special capability to evoke emotion. And with those emotions, you create scent memories. Today, I have three different fragrances that basically run my heart uh, into a fast beat because they they create such vivid vivid memories when I smell them and I'm gonna share them with you today so keep watching this tag was started by six cents official I will leave his channel down below um, when um, watching other participants specifically Jennifer from perfume and fragrance reviews on Instagram but Jennifer Latifa here on YouTube uh, just commenting on her beautiful vi video she uh, said well why don't you do it so here I am the first fragrance I would like to share and the memory associated with it is Dolce & Gabbana's The One this is the women's uh, Dolce & Gabbana The One just to be clear this is a oriental fruity vanilla fragrance it opens up very bright and fruity, so it's not something that you would generally expect from a vanilla-based fragrance. It is definitely long-lasting. It is not a fragrance to be played with, but it still is very feminine and beautiful. And that is exactly why I selected it as my my big girl fragrance, so to speak. Uh, out of college, I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Marketing. So in my field and profession, you will find that most High-level executives were males. Whenever I went to a conference, I was probably one of maybe five the most of females, and that's not even including just myself being a black female in the room. So I wanted to exude not only power and respect, but I was still a woman and proud to be a woman and to be there. So with that, I spent an afternoon before a big conference in Ulta just sampling fragrances. And out of doing so, this is exactly what I got out of Dolce & Gabbana The One. The bright opening was exactly me, The how I greet people and show respect. I'm loving, I'm caring, I am happy, I am cordial. But when you get to the very base of me, I am strong, I am powerful, I am a force. And that is exactly what I get from Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Now, after starting my career, uh, I met a young man and um, the, at the time that I met him, I got out of a really bad breakup. So I was very weary of guys at the time. So I gave him a hard time and um, Finally, when I put my guard down and we began to date, um, he was in the military. So it was kind of different for me. It was new because he was here and he wasn't here. He was here and he wasn't here. And things began to escalate rather quickly. So quickly that we, um, we were with child. And as an only child, it was it was a different experience uh, what I will say is that you can't let anyone dictate your story yes ideally I was raised to get married before having children but that quickly changed to not being my story at the time we we as in my now husband and I we've grown into the people that we needed to be to not comfortably, but to respectfully and to be ten toes down in our marriage. We were married in 2017 and the fragrance that I chose for our wedding day was Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Now the reasoning that I chose this fragrance is because um, there's always an expectation, like I mentioned before, of how you're supposed to do things but there's really no roadmap. You just know kind of what you're supposed to do. This fragrance is a citrus, woody, floral, patchouli fragrance. This lasts forever, so on the day of your wedding, when you're up at an ungodly hour at five and six a.m. and your wedding is not till that afternoon or evening, 
you will not have to refresh. I am an oversprayer, but also my nerves were really bad, so I'm sure I, I oversprayed even more. This is a fragrance that I knew that uh, when someone would hug or kiss me and, and congratulate my husband and I, that I had no doubt they could smell my fragrance. It's also something that wasn't offensive, but also something that is a classic, uh, classic in the sense that it would be noticed, but it's its own standalone fragrance like me and when I smell this fragrance I think about that day it was one of the best days of my life and I will never forget it just like I will never be without Coco Mademoiselle and now the last fragrance that is uh, last but certainly not least it is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga now if you've watched my previous video on um, fragrances for the summer you will see that I included this in a snippet of the memory uh, that I would like to share and I'll give you a little bit a little more basis of this scent this is a crisp dewy green floral it's Flora Botanica. Uh, it's there is no secret as to what uh, this fragrance has to offer. It has notes a top note of mint, so it opens very bright and fresh, which is is it's honestly it's beautiful. Just green notes that are very pleasant and soothing, but yet beautiful and refreshing and crisp. And again, the memory that is closely associated with Flora Botanica is my husband and I took a trip to St. Lucia. Now the reason why this was special is because after my husband and I got married, we did not go on our honeymoon. We are a military family and we needed to move in time for our children to start school. Um, so after our wedding, we packed up and we moved from New York to Florida. The following summer, we took a vacation to St. Lucia. St. Lucia is, again, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. Um, I, I hope to see somewhere or a destination that is more um, lush and green and just everything that you would want in a real vacation with someone that you love. Our room had three walls, even the shower though it was indoors, there were openings that let in sunlight and trees and this was exactly what we needed at that point, especially as, again, a military couple. Um, as you can imagine, it's really tough to be apart from someone you love, especially when you have small children. So the reason why trips like this are very important is because for the most part, we focus so much on making sure our kids are happy and they feel loved and know that we are always here for them and try to always have some sense of normalcy even though our lives are a little different. Um, but what specifically ties Flora Botanica to this trip is the ability to relax, to take it all in, to uh, breathe in fresh air and nurture really in being one with nature. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a big uh, outdoors girl, but Going on this trip really opened my eyes and to appreciate the relationship that my husband and I have and how we can go somewhere and it will just be he and I and literally not four walls, three walls. There were literally three walls. The wall our bed was against, two on the side, the bathroom was behind the, the bed. Everything was like an open concept in this cabin. But it was beautiful because the view that I had, that we had out of our cabin was the one of the uh, Piton mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. Everything and every time that I open up this bottle to smell this fragrance, it's probably why I run to it the most. I think of the amazing time that I shared with my husband and to appreciate how strong we are um, in our relationship and our love and our foundation as a man and a wife and beyond just being parents. We are each other's rock. We are each other's peace. And that's exactly what we've strived to be in each other's lives. And that is what I get every time I open up Flora Botanica. 
Now, I don't want to get too mushy mushy on you. As you can tell, my eyes are getting a little watery. And I started to, my voice was coming a little down. So, I don't want to get too deep on y'all. But that's really um, the emotions that I get when using all three of these fragrances. You can hear my phone buzzing. Sorry about that. But, um, again, as I started in the beginning, scent and fragrance go hand in hand with memories and emotions so I encourage you to um, find find what comforts you find what makes you happy find something that reminds you of something you love and hold on to it because there is no one who has more control over the positivity and the um, direction of your life than you so definitely make it worthwhile thank you so much for watching this tag with me i really enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed it as well if you're not already please take the time to like subscribe comment if you feel so feel to do so um share as well and i'll see you in the next one bye